kind of like ringing gauge blocks. I'm not sure what you mean. It's like a Venturi effect? No, not, not a Venturi effect either. <laughs> you guys are funny. Okay. Let's see if I can do this without that wheel falling out. Uh oh, I gotta lift it back up. No, oh, I think we're good. I think we're okay. So at this point, you can't just put the screws in and screw it down into place. Um, you got to make sure that the ratchet wheel is meshing properly. So what I do is I put a little bit of downward pressure and then wiggle the ratchet wheel. You got to rotate it a little. There we go. And by rotating it a little, you get the teeth on this pinion to mesh up with our ratchet wheel. And then it sits completely flush. Um, you wouldn't want to screw this down into place without verifying and making sure that those teeth are where they need to be. Because what will end up happening is the pinion on this wheel will end up coming down and crushing the um, ratchet wheel. And it, it's possible it could damage it. Pretty sure capillary action involves a tube of some sort. Yeah, I'll show you what capillary action is. Let me put a couple of screws in this first. Or let me tighten the screws. No, I think it is surface tension. Maybe not. I don't know. No, I think that's just the resistance. Like what I think what surface tension describes is like you know how there's like bugs in some lakes and streams where those bugs can walk across the surface of the water and that's because of surface tension and capillary action at least in this case, is how the oil itself wicks into a very, very tight surface, tight tolerance area. I wonder if I can capture that. Like so. Maybe. Let's give it a go. Okay, so here we have our mainspring arbor and then the bushing around it. So in order to get oil into that bushing,